Hi, welcome to the 13th floor. I'm Marty Duda. Today we have Greg Fleming with us. Hi, Greg. How's Hi, it going? Good, nice good, of you thanks. to stop by yeah, on a great. nice uh, Saturday afternoon, which is the day that your new album is being released, uh, yep. Working Poor Country. So congratulations on that. Thank you. Uh, you're releasing it on a Saturday, just yeah. being a little different. Everyone else releases it on a Friday. Well, we didn't want to compete with the pinks of this world. So I can understand know, that. Saturdays yep. for us. Yep. And it's, it's all, all the services, all the di digital services. Um, Very good. And at some point, is there going to be a physical version, or are you just sticking with the digital at this point? Uh, just digital at this point, but right. we could do a physical if, if there's a demand there. So. Yep, yep. So it's called The Working Poor Country, and it's with your band, The Working Poor. Yep. Uh, you recorded the album just down the street here at The Lab, is that right? Yes, The yep. Lab, yep. So. Great little studio. We've done four records there. Um, we, we love it there. We, we, we work with Ollie Harmer, who's, who's the engineer there. And he, he's done all four Working Poor albums. And I've, I really like the sound of the lab. It's, the sound Ollie gets is bright, but it's punchy and, and crisp. And uh, I think this one is actually our, our best sounding record, if you, if you will. Okay. Uh, and it's a little more country influence than some of the others, right? Um, yeah, why, that's right. Why did you decide on doing that? Uh, well. The, the the start of that was the, the the title track working poor country right so I, I had that that track and that track funnily enough isn't that country right <laughs> but I thought oh that's a good I like that title I'm going to write some country songs and I had some up my sleeve we had one from for the last album to hell with these streets which did, didn't fit on that record right because it, that record was like a crime novel set to music it right. was pretty dark it was, yeah. it was like our berlin if you if you will <laughs> if you'll indulge me um, is this your sally can't dance <laughs> <laughs> well i don't know I, i've always liked records that, that that instead of just a collection of songs there's a there's a theme running through so this this theme is is i'm going back to those you know people like towns van zandt guy clark Jason Isbell, who I really like. Yeah, he's great. Um, yeah, it, it, you know that that sort of style of, of, of country. So it's not trad country. Yeah. I, I mean, I haven't, I can't do that. But I can do my own version of, of, of country, and that's what that's what this record is. So I had some I had some record um, some songs up my sleeve, and I I wrote some more. And I had I had I had one was written for a, another country artist, Cam Scott in Christchurch. And right. I had that up my sleeve. So I thought I'll 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 end up doing that. So that was Memory and East, which is on the record. And, it, you know, it came together relatively easily. Um, and the band, great, great band, they're very versatile. And, you know, uh, Wayne liked the songs and he co-produced with Andrew Thorne. Right. Um, so, yeah, it was a relatively easy record to to make and produce. Yeah. So you got Andrew Thorne with you today. You're going to play a few songs for yeah, us. No. The first one we're going to hear is called Headlights. What can you tell me about that one? Well, well, that was written when I was crossing Fanshawe Street uh, in the morning and nearly got run over. Well, I yeah, I was, was going to say, that's to, a dangerous proposition know, any that, time of the day. It's that wide street <laughs> and there's an island and you think you're safe and you're not. So I had my headphones on. I was listening to Lee Morgan. All right. So that's where the, 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 the city side, side winder comes in. Yep. And so, yeah, that's, that's the start of that song. All and right. uh, two minutes six seconds short and short and short and sweet short and huh? sweet yeah very good all right well let's give it a listen headlights and we'll be back talking some more with greg fleming headlights coming Wish I was in New York City, wish I was New York bound. I got a girl in New York City, she used to light up this town. I got something to tell you, I got something to say. I got something to tell you, city's mine today. City's mine today. City's mine today. City's mine today. City side 
Walk sidewinder, turn it up, let's attract. Hit repeat on Fanshawe Street. Then I bring my baby back. 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 Well, I got something to tell you. I got something to say. Well, I got something to tell you. It is mine today. It is mine today. City side, walk side winder, turn it up, that's the track. Hit repeat on Fanshawe Street, then I bring my baby back. 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 Right ho, we're back here with Greg Fleming. He's got a new album out called Working Poor Country. We just heard headlights. And you mentioned uh, Wayne from the band. Uh, the Working Poor, which is Wayne Bell. Yes. So, uh, in addition to him, who else do you have in the group these days? Oh, we've got Wayne. Wayne plays drums. Andrew Thorne, who's with me today, uh, plays guitar. John Segovia. Uh, yeah, He's a legend. He is indeed, yeah. He's played with everyone. Uh, he's he's a, uh, another guitarist. Nick Doers, who's a keyboard player, fantastic keyboard player. And, and Mark Hughes, who's another well-known musician uh, on bass. Uh-huh. So it's six six piece. Yeah. And when you're in the studio putting together this record, what is the working like? Is it you pretty much running the show? Is it a more group effort? How does it? Uh, no, come it's together? it's pretty pretty non hierarchical. We turn up, we um, have a coffee, all <laughs> set up, and we play the songs. Essentially, it was one day of recording. We recorded everything live. Uh-huh. Most like headlights was one take. Nothing about you was one take. And then, then I did vocals and we arranged things. But this, the, the, the essence of the record was recorded in one day at the lab. So do you do a lot of rehearsal before that to get to that point? Or is it just that's the way you guys play? Uh, this, it's just as, as the bands progressed, it's just the way we play. Mm-hmm. And we, I actually don't do a lot of rehearsals. We don't want to get too rehearsed. Right. So a couple of these songs were given to the guys on the morning. So they don't know, yep. because they're such great musicians. You know that can get. You know, I I, I like that element of surprise. So, I so was just th- reading about uh, when David Bowie was recording his Lodger album, and they had right. Andrew Ballou, Adrian Ballou, come in to play guitar for the first time. Right. And they were in the process of recording, and they had the basic tracks down, and then Adrian Ballou walks in cold, and he didn't even get a chance to listen to the song. They made him just plug in the guitar and play along with it. Right. As <laughs> yeah, yeah. Well, and they figured that's the best way to get something you know completely new and spontaneous out. So it is. I mean, there's other other bands I know they swap musician, uh, swap mu- musical instruments. So right. so they're not so expert on that. And, I think and that's what Bob Dylan did for Rainy Day Women. And REM used to do that oh, too yeah, for, yeah. for for Automatic for the People. I think yeah. they did that. Um, and and Springsteen, I, I mean, I, I was reading like he, he would he would teach the band the bridge uh-huh. and the verse and the chorus. They never put it together, right. but only when they got in the <laughs> studio. And um, yeah, and Springsteen's a bit bigger bigger influence, especially on, on this record and, and, yeah. and the last couple. Yeah. Yeah. Do you find it uh, is it difficult to find musicians who kind of go along with that way of thinking? Is it taking a while to come up with these guys who are kind well, of willing to? be put under that kind of In a way, I've worked with, with Andrew and uh, Wayne for, I've known them for over 20 years. Right. Uh, so it's quite natural. We don't really talk about it. We just, and Wayne and Andrew and I produce. And so between us, we've got skill sets that, and, and it complements each other. Right. Yeah, that's, cool. that's good. Now the next song, we're speaking of Bob Dylan, the next song we're gonna hear is called Nothing About You. And my understanding is that old Bob had something to do with inspiring the song. He did. I mean, I mean, so, you know, you can't compete with Dylan, but you know, he, he, <laughs> he, he, I, I'm a massive Dylan fan and, and I was reading an interview with him, I think it was in 2006, he, was, he wrote a song about Alicia Keys or oh, she's referenced in her, it. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And, and, and in an interview he said, there's nothing about her I, I don't like. Right. Which yeah, that's great. So I that kind of I fold that away and 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 it just happened to work with this 
sort of Buddy Holly-ish riff I had going. And um, so thanks, Bob. Very yeah. good. All right, well, let's give it a listen. Nothing about you. One. Girl, she drove me crazy She didn't like my food I work on her for hours Just to get her in the mood But there's nothing about you that I don't like Nothing about you that I don't like I've been looking for you my whole life There's nothing about you that I don't like hey, hey. We're back here with Greg Fleming. We're talking about his new record, Working Poor Country. We've just heard nothing about you, and we're going to hear one more song with uh, Greg. Now, uh, the last one is a solo only. Are you going to be playing with Andrew? Or is uh, this no, this, this one w I just did solo in the studio. It was the last day before mixing, and I just went in and did it. Right. Just I don't think the band were even there. Right. Um, so yeah, so this is this is uh, you know people people say that that I'm a country artist and 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 I've certainly been influenced by that. But ninety nine percent of my material is based in the city, especially and most of it in Auckland. Right. Um, so it's a strange. I mean, yeah, I don't know if people even think of country music as necessarily being rural music anymore. No, no, you they. Know? I mean, all those guys like Nashville or yeah, you know, you know, the urban guys yeah. now. You know, um, so. But it's, I mean, I, I, I love Lou Reed and I love Lefty Frizzell, but uh, probably subject matter is more Lou Reedish than yeah. Lefty yeah. As, as much as I love um, that. And, you know, I'm not a country singer, so I've got to work within, within what I can do. And, and this, this song was, was, was written pretty quickly about um, the only girl I've ever loved. I mean, a, a guy who, who, who keeps going back to try to find this, 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 perfect romance, perfect woman, and 
that, that, that was perfect in his mind. Anyway. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know how that goes. <laughs> yeah. yeah. And you've got quite a few, uh, you've handed me uh, a veritable library of your releases. Yep. So we done f we've done four this records. Is your fourth one? Yeah, and one each year. And so you've done other stuff in addition to that, so. Yeah, I'm uh, very proud of um, the last four records, um, each one each year. Um, and we, you know, we're a band that, you know, we, we're not, we don't want any pop stars. We're not, we're on the other side of 40, mm -hmm. some of us 50. <laughs> and uh, Still youngsters, if you ask we me. Are, but, you know, I, I, I like to think the band and, and are doing their best work now. Yeah. We're not doing nostalgia acts. We're not doing stuff I did 20 years ago. We're not doing Codeine Road. Right. You know, we're doing stuff now and it's, it's, it's working out so far. Yeah. yeah. And you're going to be hitting the road. Are you doing just one show at the We're doing one show at the moment. We, 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 we're trying to do some more for, for next year. Um, right. So stay, stay tuned. Yeah. Very good. We will. Well, and thanks for stopping by. And uh, we'll leave with the uh, only girl I've ever loved. Thanks, Marty. Thank you. I walk the city blocks and the waterfront, the alleys and the lanes and the loading docks. People asking, boy, have you lost to say the only girl I've ever loved? She was tall and dark with hazel eyes. She lived around here for the longest time. We'd sit over there, we'd drink our wine, watch bands down at the fire sign. Well, I got lucky, but I ain't lucky no more. Searching all day and it's almost dusk For the only girl I've ever loved For the only girl I've ever loved The old bartender just shakes his head the Neighbor says she just got up and left No goodbye or forward in a dress Where she's gone it's anyone's guess Elevator doors open up City streets swallow me up I throw a coin into a beggar's cup It's midnight but I ain't giving up Well I got lucky But I ain't lucky no more I've been searching all night and dawn's coming up For the only girl I've ever loved the only girl I've ever loved Well I got lucky But I ain't lucky no more I've been searching all night and dawn's coming up For the only girl I've ever loved For the only girl 